YouTube, my name is Rachel and my business name is Lily Works and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom and a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Etsy, and Facebook Marketplace and I mostly sell shoes. And in this video we are going to talk about how I take pictures um, for to get ready to list on those multiple platforms. Is um, kind of my setup right here so first thing I suggest is a light box with a white background when people search for shoes or other things they're buying online Google pulls up the white background photos so that people can directly buy when they're doing their Google searches so that's why white is a really great color um, so Yes, I have a link down in my description to this light box. I bought it from Amazon and I really, really like it. This is actually my second because, um, yeah, I just bought the same one again because when I was moving, uh, this one was getting a little bit dirty and scuffed up even on the sides from um, all the shoes that I had been listing. So I just bought another one. Okay, so. What I use, and you don't need to have necessarily any, or all, I guess all of these things, but I use a shoe stand here, and you can find that on Amazon, and it's just a clear shoe stand. I have different things that can fill my shoes. So these are just some plastic shoe forms, and it um, has a split in the toe, so that's really great for sandals. This is like a size five or six women's foot, so it won't really fill out men's or larger women's shoes that well, but I use this a lot of times for sandals. This I use for strappy shoes, um, and you'll see that in this video, I use these probably the most to fill out the shoes. These are some vintage shoe forms. Um, I use these for like ballet flats, sometimes or vintage shoes these are some regular men's tree forms made out of wood and they have like a um, spring in them so they can you can adjust to the size I pick these up at the bins um, they come in shoes all the time you'll see them at the bins so otherwise you can buy them probably cheap on eBay um, pre-owned or on Amazon and then lastly this is a boot shaper boot form for tall boots and I also got this from the bins the other one was broken so I just fixed it with twine but I've been using it for three years and I absolutely love it and it really takes the shape of the boot um, you pull it up at the top I did see that these were selling on Amazon as well so I really like these otherwise just plain old newspaper packing paper can work in replacement for all these things but I do also use a hard ruler this is my new ruler it's beautiful and also a soft ruler okay so the first thing you're going to need is a camera and I just use my Samsung s20 and I just go on to my camera app and at the top I'm going to click one to one to make it a square. Um, I think on the iPhones you would click square mode, but this is now ready for the multiple platforms because they use squares for their picture and then you won't have parts of it cut off. So these, well, I guess I should say, <clears throat> I had recorded this three weeks ago 
in line with my other videos and I accidentally deleted this middle video of me taking pictures and listing. So I did pull the ones that didn't sell yet so I can show you how I list them. But um, yeah, I'm sorry I don't have all the shoes but I will have a good selection to show you. So here are these Donald Pliner shoes and these are in great condition. So I don't really even need to put anything in them. So I'll just put them here on the stand and it has a little lip here and you can choose to turn it however you want. Be straight on or maybe more of an angle. I think that this is a detail I want my buyers to see. Um, switch it to photo view and yeah one to one there we go um and then i you can touch your phone and it will change the brightness um in different areas and this is especially helpful if you're picture or taking pictures of black um shoes or clothing items or jewelry because the black can get really washed out so if i touch it i can change my brightness so I'm just going to take a picture of this first shoe. Then I take my board over here, or my stand, and then I'll take a picture of the front area. So here's my front area. And then I'll take a picture of both of them to the side. And then up the back. And now I use a uh, a hard ruler for this because if I were to measure with a softer ruler and like follow the shape of the heel, if I were to follow the shape of the heel, it would actually be longer than the heel height because the heel height is about two inches right there instead of how long the, ink, the slope is. So I'll just have that right there showing the heel height. Then I will show the bottoms. Sometimes you can show the inside showing how clean it is. Make sure it's focused. And if it's adjustable in any way, some Velcro um, um, straps or anything like that you might want to show that it does that but other than that oh did I show the size I might do a close-up of the size a lot of times the size or the style name is on the inside so you can take a picture of that um, I don't see that so then I would take these and I put them these are my bins to get ready to put into my inventory all right so let's get to the next pair Let's do these Doc Martens that we cleaned up together. I'm seeing some pieces I need to clip right here before I list it. So with boots, for some reason, I always just keep them together. I don't know why, but I do. Um, and so then I will take a picture of both of the boots together, take a picture of the front, I would probably make sure I take a picture of any damage on the toes. Here is this side and then the back. And now I'm going to lift up the boots to show the heel drag right there. And then I will show the under side of the boots. You might want to show the inside and go above. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't do that. And then I've already filled these with paper, with the packing paper. Um, trying to find the size and style. So I will... have to undo these laces to get to them. 
So now we got to it. And it does say pier. Make sure that it says 10 US men right there. And it does say Doc Martens. And it's kind of um, faded out right there, but I could take a picture of the inside. And then I would just lace these back up, put my paper back in, and then put them ready to go in the basket. Here are these sass shoes that we cleaned. Um, a lot of times sass shoes, if they're a little bit more worn, or loafers, penny loafers in general, I can either choose to put it in the wooden tree form, or what I normally just do is I take this packing paper, rip it in half, and put it in my toes. Okay, so here we go. Stuff it in there. And then if I'm shipping, if I'm shipping this in like a pot, pal, bleh, if I'm shipping this in a padded poly mailer, this will keep the toes protected as well. I'll, I could ship it like this and they won't get damaged. So a lot of my flats and loafers have the toes stuffed already. Okay. And then it shapes a little, and they also can um, shape a little bit nicer for when you're taking pictures. Okay, so bringing back my stand, taking a picture of the side. Make sure that paper's not sticking out. And then I'm taking a picture of the front. The toes are in great shape. And a picture from the side. The back. And the bottoms. And then here is the um, size right here, it's a 12 narrow. So on a lot of men's um, dress shoes and older shoes and comfort shoes, they have the um, size and style right here. So it says 12 narrow. So these are a women's 12. I'm going to take a picture of that. I'm going to take a picture of the inside because sass Shoes often um, are that are pre-owned come without the insole, so I'm just showing that. And then these are good to go. Let's do these really nice Stuart Weitzman. And again, these have that size right on the inside. So get my stand, stand it up there, line it up. So one shoe, both of the shoes together, and then the back. And here we go with our ruler again. And then that's actually my jewelry ruler. I have a different ruler that I normally use. A size, and then if there's anything else, put that in there. I might do a uh, close-up of the detailing as well. <clears throat> so there are those shoes. Easy, easy, easy. Let's do these sandals. Okay, so for these sandals, I can choose this one or this one. So well, let's look what each looks like. Okay, so here is what each of those different shoe forms look like. This one just looks like a foot, and the toes are not long enough, and then this one is just um, a basic form. So I think I, I I guess it doesn't really matter but I probably will just slip in these um, for this picture but honestly they both look fine it's showing the details of the shoes 
Um, it's standing up. It's not like if you've ever gone to ThreadUp's website and their pictures of shoes, they don't really put in tree forms. And so a lot of times the shoes are so flat and I think they're missing a lot of sales by not putting in these shoe forms. All right, so I put in both of the forms and make sure my Velcro straps are all lined up. And take this one. And then this one. Bottoms, close up of the size. And then I will just kind of show that they are a hook and loop fastener. And um, let's Sometimes it will say leather, it says made in Albania, so maybe someone wants to know that. We already have the size and it says it again right there. So I think that we are done with these. Okay. So with these, I can choose to slip this in. or I can just have it without. Then you might want to show the inside of the insoles. Let's do a picture of the bottom. Again, we're going to take a picture of the heel height. Sometimes if there is a platform, I'm sorry, if there's a platform right here, you might want to take a picture of the platform height. Say they, they're like a really big um, platform heels, you can take like a picture of like two inch platform and five inch heel or whatever. These have a little bit of scuffing right on the inside so I can take a picture of that right here. And then take a picture of the inside. There we go. Okay so now we're going to get to these vintage boots. I did stuff these with paper and I'm going to keep that paper in there um, while they are <clears throat> sitting in my inventory. But these you want to make sure that you do um, take a picture of the flaws and condition. So we will kind of turn them like that, make sure I don't get this side in there and they're lined up. And then go to the front. I believe on eBay you can have 12 photos. Oh. And then let's take a picture of the toes. And then I'm going to point right here to that flaw. The side. And then here's that pen mark. And then the back. I'm not going to take a picture of the heels for these boots because cowboy boot heels are generally always the same for men's. And these are a size 8.5 for men's. I did measure these. And they don't have the size, or because, um, sorry, they don't have the size, and normally I would take a picture of the size and brand in here, but they don't have it. So, um, yeah. I might take a picture of the oil and chemical resistant and then a picture of the inside of the shoes.
Now we're going to get to these boots. So here are these boots that we clean together. These are the Steve Madden boots and that's how I hang them up in my inventory. So I'm going to take these off. Um, or I'm also going to show you these boots with my boot form in it. So you can either stuff it with a bunch of paper like these ones, which they look nice, or you can just use these um, boot forms and take them in and out um, so you're not using as much paper. And when we were cleaning these, I couldn't find these boot forms, so here they are. So I'm going to take a picture of both, even though I didn't clean these in the video with you, I'm going to show you. But here are these really tall Steve Madden boots, and I have to back up a little bit. And as you can see, there's um, the back in my picture, so I'm going to try to get it lined up as best as I can without getting the sides in there. And then there we go. Now I'm going to take a picture of the front. And I don't really mind if the sides get in the picture for the next few pictures. It's just that first picture I want to look really crisp and clear because that's the picture that people see on Google searches or eBay searches. So here's the front. the side, the back, and let's take a picture of the bottom. And now here is some measurements that you definitely want to take. Alright, here's some measurements that you definitely want to take with your soft ruler. So, I would take a picture of the shoe shaft. There we go. I'd take a picture of how high the shaft height is. And you can put it to the bottom of the heel as well, but really the shoe shaft height is about 16 and a half. So then I would take a picture of the shaft height, and then you want to take a picture of the um, calf width and there is a tiny bit of stretch so you can put that in your listing if you want but um, taking a picture of the calf width is important for a lot of buyers so this one is 15 which is average and then Steve Madden usually has the style name and size in there and then um, a lot of times you can unzip this and especially on vintage boots show the lining material if it's shearling or how um, how well the boots made if it's made out of leather lining or whatever these don't really matter so yeah so these would be done and then lastly let's get to well I might just pull another shoe um, just to show you some men's oxfords I did sell those magnani shoes uh, really quickly like next day after I listed them, so I can't show you those. So here, okay. So here are these boots, and this is the boot form. So what you do is you pull it, and it gets skinny. And then there's the calf part right here. And I will put these in and put my phone down and then come back. All right, so here is what it looks like with the boot forms in. They're a little bit wobbly, like they weren't balancing, so I kind of propped them up a little bit along the back. And then again, I would just take a picture with these, and then if they're still wobbling, I can hold on to the top of the boot forms with my hands and just not get them in the picture and then keep rotating them so yeah that's what i would do with these i haven't listed these yet so i will wait to clean those and list those so here are some magnanis that um, i actually re recently purchased and i 
I stuffed them, so these are listed already. I stuffed them and took pictures, but if I didn't want to stuff them, I can put in this tree form and take pictures of it with the tree form. And then some people I've heard <laughs> that their buyers want the tree forms included. I've only done that once, which I was fine with, but I charged them more with sh for shipping because they were a little bit heavier and then I just got more at the bins. Um, but that's what it would look like with a tree form in there. It's really great for cleaning your shoes too. It really gets the wrinkles out. And um, yeah, you just disclose does not come with tree form if you need to. I, um, yeah, so if you can see right here, this one has more wrinkles right here at the toe and this one doesn't. My, I generally always use this for when I take pictures because I don't have to take anything in and out and I can just put it right on my shelf and it keeps the shape. I like to be able to take pictures of the leather on the inside. But yeah, so this is what that would look like if there was two and then I would just take pictures all around with my tree form in there. So yeah, that is our... That is all that I'm going to show um, in regards to taking pictures of shoes. So yeah, that is how we take pictures to get ready to post on multiple platforms. It usually goes really fast. It's a simple process. This is why I really like having a niche because the process just goes really fast. It's like the same thing and you have all the materials and a light box. It fits almost any shoe that I buy. So. It's really streamlined, um, but stay tuned for the next video where we are going to now learn to post them onto multiple platforms and how I describe them, how I upload the pictures, so stay tuned for that video. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Our channel is growing, that's so exciting, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, bye.